What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something affordable. If you want to get into FPV, break into the world of FPV drone flying. This is going to be a fun one because this is a brand new product from Flywoo. It is called the Nano Baby. It's around $99 to start. You can also get a transmitter as cheap as around $50. I'll put some links down below for a full setup if you want to grab one of these. Um, so yeah, $99 will get you started. It has an SPI receiver on board, so you could bind it up to a radio and fly at close proximity. If you want to fly it out longer, you can also do ELRS on here, and you can do TBS crossfire. So you can send this little guy way out there. It is so much fun to fly this little thing, and it's around 20 grams. It's way underneath the FAA's registration that's required, and it has brushless motors. It has a carbon fiber unibody frame with a 1S450, I'm getting around six minutes on this little beast. So let's take it out now. Let's do a little bit of freestyle ripping with it. And let's just have some general backyard fun with this little guy because man, $100 can really get you a lot these days. So let's go ahead outside now. And let's fly one of the world's smallest nano micro drones. Here we go. All right, my friends, welcome back from the flight test. This little guy flies pretty good. And it's only 23 grams without the battery. If you add the battery on there, you're looking at a 1S450 from all line, we're gonna get up to 36 grams total takeoff weight, way under the 250 gram limit by the US uh, FAA. So um, that is gonna be awesome for flying indoors or outdoors. I mean, look at this little guy. Is this not like the coolest little micro quad you've ever seen. Uh, this is awesome. Little dead cat carbon frame. It looks like two millimeter unibody on the bottom with that TPU mount down here. 
This is nice because the all line batteries that I'm using, these are the 1S450s, they can get you in upwards of eight minutes. Uh, the way I fly, I get like four minutes because I'm heavy on the throttle. So uh, it slides in there just like that, just barely fits a 450. The 1S300 milliamp might fit in there kind of loose, but I, I think you could make it work. Maybe put a little piece of foam in there if you want to fly freestyle. That's the way I would do that. But the cool thing is, is that this is a backyard ripper. It took some hits. I mean, I slammed right into that bucket full speed. Uh, I tried to power loop like 15 times that little uh, arch in the backyard and I just couldn't get it to do it. One of the reasons was that this battery is too heavy for a good hardcore power loop. It just doesn't have enough power at the high end of the throttle coming back around that loop to be able to make that power loop under that uh, little arch. So um, that was unfortunate for me. But you know, I tell the truth in my reviews so that you guys know what's up. And if you want to make this a little lighter, you can get the ELRS receiver that's on the Banggood website. You can choose uh, from the SPI FR Sky built in receiver. That's what that means on there. And the other selection is TBS Crossfire. So you can make this go way out there on the TBS Crossfire. And this is the box that it comes in, by the way. Look at that, guys. Isn't that like super tiny? You get the inside here. You also get some extra hardware and check this out. This is the ELRS receiver and I didn't put it on there because I'm not flying any kind of super long range, but if you want to go way out there, get one of these ELRS modules. Um, and this is the, the new hot in micro FPV right now because uh, people kind of, it's kind of like an alternative to TBS Crossfire. And I mean, check this thing out. It is super, super tiny and it has an automatic bind, so um, pretty cool. You just go into bind mode in your radio and it links up automatically. No button on this one, so um, you don't have to push the button. Like on the XM Plus right here, you gotta push the gold button and then you bind up. Now also on here, guys, we have, let's just get right to the roses, shall we? My favorite thing about this, aside from a great camera and a great AIO flight controller is Drum roll, please. 250 milliwatt VTX. I mean, come on. This is what we've been kind of waiting for for a micro for ages. Um, I, I know there's some tiny nano VTXs out there that you can get that go up to 400, but a lot of these bind and fly ones, they come with like 25 milliwatt to 100 milliwatt max that I've seen recently. So um, for 99 bucks, you're getting a 1200 TVL camera, F4 flight controller, a 250 milliwatt VTX on here and around an eight minute flight time with a 1S450 and a carbon frame. I think that's pretty good. And what I like the best about this one is that it doesn't have ducks. The ducks drive me crazy. I, I love tiny whoops and they're great for indoor. You can bounce off the door and things like that. And this one's better outdoor ripper than indoor ripper, honestly, but I just hate ducks. Are you with me? Uh, ducks drive me crazy. Um, I, I like to be able to have all this free airflow here, and I just feel like the quads fly better without the ducks. Um, same thing for this three inch center whoops. The ducks drive me crazy because they have wobble and tumble, and that's when the flight controller has freak out because there's a lot of air pushing on those ducks. So um, this is nice, and it flies more like a smaller micro, like FPV, brushless FPV micro. So uh, I think this is a great release from them. Um, I, I would suggest using these 1S 450 milliamp batteries. These all lines right now, these are the ones I'm using exclusively and these have been working great for me. So um, you can check out the link down below. I'll put some of these down there and I'll put my radio of choice for you guys, which is the Jumper t Light. This is the perfect pairing. And I'll try to find a link to some Sky Zone goggles. If you're starting out in FPV, grab this bundle right here. This is the bundle to go for. Get yourself four or five of these batteries this quad, this radio, and some Sky Zone goggles, and thank me later, guys. Um, you're gonna you're gonna love it. This will bind up to SPI FR Sky receiver setup. So if you go on the Banggood website, you look on there and it says SPI FR Sky. Click on that one, and you can bind it up uh, in D8 or D16 mode. So uh, I'll leave the links down below, and don't forget to comment on this video, guys, because we're giving away an awesome, awesome X8 Femi Mini. And that's around a $400 4K three-axis gimbal quad with GPS return to home and all the bells and whistles. But thanks again for subscribing to my channel, guys. And uh, yeah, get in on that contest. We're going we're gonna to release that winner in like a day or two. Very close to winter. 
winter time, guys. Winter, winter, chicken dinner. Guys, I'm Justin Davis. Take care. Fly Woo Nano Baby. I'll see you on the next one.